Hey guys, welcome to another video. We've got a treat especial from the land of interesting colloquialisms. It is an Ave ruler. I've got a few PCB rulers here, some uh, Adafruit and uh, EV, EEV blog rulers, but I had a friend give me uh, two of these, one for myself and one to make for him. So we're going to go through and build this uh, Ave ruler and uh, see how it goes together. Another thing to note is that I've actually got a new microphone. Um, it is a... Uh, a roadie Procaster, which my brother gave to me. He had two, and um, he gave me one to use. So we're going to be playing around with that a bit, see how we go. So if the uh, the audio sounds a bit different, that's why. Hopefully it's better. Uh, let us know what you think, and um, I'll play around with the settings and uh, see if I can make it sound somewhat professional. Uh, let me know what you think, and um, I'll do my best to make it sound legible and somewhat pleasing to the ear. All right, so it looks like we've got uh, the two PCB rulers here got the usual sort of measurements and uh, hole sizes and whatnot and then we've got our bits two little bags of uh, parts looks like we've just got a, uh, a magnet in there a uh, what's that a switch and a battery holder and some lenses and a tiny little LED shouldn't be too hard to put together we'll fire up the uh, the soldering iron and we'll get right into it okay so here's all the parts we get we get two lenses so we've got a spare that's a nice touch We've got two LEDs, another little uh, nice touch there, we've got a spare there, we've got our magnet, our switch, and our battery holder. So, th the order of things is, uh, let's put the LED in first. Now, which way does the LED go? It's a diode, so it can only go one way for it to work. Well, if you look on the back, I'll hold this up, and you should see, once that focuses, a little green T there. Now the, the larger part of the green, the, the top of the T, which is oriented to the top of the, uh, the screen, that's the positive. So that gets goes towards that positive just there on the, uh, the pad. So it'll go that way. Obviously flipped upside down. But the green, the large green end goes towards the positive. So let's put that on. I like to use uh, these sort of reverse tweezers. I'm not sure if there's a name for them, but they're uh, a normal normal tweezers. You you squeeze to close them. These ones you squeeze to open. They're spring loaded, closed. So that way we can uh, hold the LED or the component in question down to the board. This stops it from flying away when we start soldering it, and also acts as a heat sink so that we don't overheat the component because they're rather small. Being small, you don't want to overheat them, so use a small tip. And only the tip for just a second. You've got to be in and out rather quickly. Just long enough to get that to uh, solder into place. And then the other side. Just like that. Alright, so there's our diode installed. Now we'll put the uh, the switch in. Alright, so it's the same deal with the uh, button. So we'll just put that in place. Then we'll use our tweezers to hold it there. Now you want to be quick with the button as well because it's plastic and you don't want to melt the plastic. I'll get some solder. Don't need very much solder, just a little bit, just enough to fill the pad. Just like that. Beautiful. And then we got the battery holder. So the way to put the battery holder on, you want to have it so let's have a look the battery slides in from the outside well from the opposite side to the uh, to the scale there 
So once it pushes in, it'll kind of stick out the back and then it'll be centered on the ruler a lot nicer than having it, the battery coming in this way. That's the way you want to have it. So we'll stick that there. And once again with our clamp. Oh, hang on. But, nearly forgot. Before you put the uh, battery holder on, you need to put a little bit of solder on this center pad that's labeled GND or ground. The reason for that is if you put the battery, if you don't put that there and the battery slides on, it's not going to make contact there. You need to have this sort of like mounded up just a little bit. So if you just put a bit of solder there, not very much at all, you just kind of, if you heat it up all evenly and then let it sit, just like that, and that will give you a slight curve to it. That will then give good contact to your battery. Actually, I might give that a bit of a clean because I won't be able to get in there afterwards with some isopropyl alcohol. So I've got little wipes here just to get rid of the flux. Just like that. And I'll get the old Kim wipes. Not a problem. All right, now we can put this on. So once again, oriented so the battery comes in from this direction. Just like that. Let that cool off a bit, and then we can remove the clamp and do this side. That's pretty much the whole thing done, ready to a test. So we'll get a battery and Stick it into the uh, device. Oh, that way. There we go. Beautiful. Works perfectly. That works great. So now we've got to put the uh, lens and the, the magnet in. So I'm going to use some uh, super glue. Loctite 401. Real good stuff. More expensive than the, uh, the cheap stuff you get at the dollar store. But it's really, really strong. Also, it's more expensive because it comes in a 20 gram pack, not the little like five gram that you get. You know, the, the small little tubes. So it's um, high quality, and you get a lot of it. It also comes in like a foil pack with some uh, desiccant in there, and that um, I keep it in there just so it keeps the moisture out because moisture is what activates this stuff. If you get moisture in there, humidity and whatever in the bot in the bottle, that will set it off, and you'll um, end up you know, with a bottle of hard stuff in there, or the, the nozzle gets clogged and whatnot. Similar to the uh, silicon corking, that uses moisture to go off too. So, what we'll do, is we'll get a little bit of uh, masking tape here, and we'll stick it on the back of our PCB, where the magnet's going to go, and we'll grab our magnet, stick it in the hole. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little drop of uh, super glue on the top of the magnet and I'm going to spread it around just so it goes into the gap. The reason I'm putting it on the top and I'm not actually feeding it around the edge is it's going to be a lot neater. If you try and squirt it in with this, you're going to have big blobs of super glue everywhere. So put it just a drop on top of the uh, magnet and then I'll probably just use my tweezers, one side of my tweezers, and just kind of feed that around like so. That'll wick in there and that'll hold that in just nicely. So it's a similar sort of thing. I better wipe the super glue off the end of my tweezers before I get it everywhere. A similar sort of thing with the uh, the lens. We've got two here so we've got a spare in case we mess up. We want to not put the glue in first. Oh, sorry. We want not put the lens in first. We want to put the glue in first. And you want to be careful. You don't want to indelibly 
glue your fingerprints to the uh, the lens. So be careful with where you're putting the glue. But I'm going to put a little bit just around the rim. You don't need much at all. Just spread that around. Sit it flat on the desk and drop the lens in. Just like that. And that will set up nicely. I'm gonna that's holding in there, so I'm gonna just leave it so it's hovering in midair. That way it won't stick to the desk as you can see. Got a little bit of a ring of excess glue there. And that is our thing pretty much done. So once that's dried up, I'll be back in a sec and uh, we'll see how it works. That's pretty much all done now. So let's see how it performs. We got the uh, LED light there, and you can see it's well, it's magnifying. I'll zoom in a bit. So you can see there, that's working quite sufficiently. And there we go, we're all done. Got the uh, LED going, magnifying glass for the packet detector, and a few other bits and pieces for measuring different things, and the uh, magnet there. It's a good little project to get your feet wet for uh, s and soldering few basic components, see what it's like. But yeah, I'll give that a thumbs up. Alright guys, don't forget we've got that Patreon. Keep watching the videos, and we'll see you next time.